Uh, Gloomhaven Early Access is live on Steam. This is the most interesting thing that happened this week to me. So Gloomhaven is the number one board game uh, on BGG and a very popular game. They have been designing a video game version of it. It is not a one-to-one direct uh, remake of the board game. It is an adjacent game that uses the exact same mechanisms to create a new game uh, that is a single-player version of Gloomhaven. I know in the future they're going to have online where you can play with other people. Um, A very early beta. You must think of this as a beta, maybe even an alpha. This is an early stage of the game. uh, And they are, you can spend $24 on Steam right now to be uh, a guinea pig for them and help beta test it and try it out. The game might be more expensive later on when it really announced, but it really launches. So you might be getting in cheap. Now, have you tried it yet? Yeah, I play, I put about four hours into it. Do you feel that, because in this very early access state, yeah. sometimes these games are more alpha than beta. Is this, yeah. is this more of an alpha test? No, or this, is this is a full? game. This is a game. Okay. Now it's missing features. Like when you go to the menu, there's only one option, which is there's the campaign mode is locked out. The tutorial is locked out. The online is locked out. The sure. only thing that's there right now is adventure mode, which is sort of a, what's interesting to me is it's Gloomhaven as a roguelike. So what's a roguelike? A roguelike is a game where in, uh, you get one shot at it. If you die, that's the end of the game and you try again. Right. Okay. Roguelike video games are amazing. I love them. They're some of my favorite. Darkest Dungeon, Slay the Spire, things like that. Um, this is the literally the exact... If you know how to play Gloomhaven, you don't need to learn anything. It is Gloomhaven. And in fact, all the characters in the game are the exact same games from Gloomhaven. Their cards are exactly the same. Their decks are exactly the same. If you know those characters, that's the barrier to entry in Gloomhaven is each character is a deck of cards that you need to know really well to be able to pilot that character sure so if you already know them like i actually i'm very comfortable with the scoundrel i'm very comfortable with the Cragheart. those two i was able to make a team of those two there's only four characters in the game right now right um and you can only make combination teams of two of those but any combination of those four is available so i took Cragheart and scoundrel and i knew their cards pretty well and i i won i won the first mission it's not very hard i will say that i think they're gonna you know the difficulty is not like real like i was playing on normal and i i breezed through it and gloomhaven's hard gloomhaven's a hard game um, but, and I've heard that people play it on hard. They're saying like, that's sort of normal. That's sort of like the, the base board game normal. So the AI is not quite up to snuff yet. Potentially. Yeah. Or at least like, yeah, it's still, you know, by the way, in a, in a beta, that's perfectly yeah, acceptable. That's fine. Uh, the, look, Gloomy is a, very, is a, is a really tight game. It's, uh, it's like the Martin Wallace of like, uh, <laughs> miniature skirmish games because it's like what, if you make one bad play, you're done. Like you're not going to win in gloom. Like the, the most of the scenarios are that t- you really have to plan perfectly, um, and that's the fun of the game. I think that's the game Isaac wants. Is this you really need to be terrified at all times, and you need to make proper plays. And it's there's like you know action economy, and you know, every card is so valuable, and and the times when you're resting and spending those, and you feel that in the game. Like it still has that, even though it's like I, I won the first scenario pretty easily. It's still you still felt like. Oh, if I, I, I could have lost in one other turn, like if I had blown one turn. Okay. Um, so it still has that like dancing on a knife's edge kind of feel of Gloomhaven. Um, I Can think I... it's worth a shot. My, my only uh, negative is a big part of Gloomhaven is the modifier deck, mm-hmm. which is every time you do anything, there's no dice in the game. So the dice are, uh, are a stacked deck. So, you know, it, it's like stacked dice. So basically like if you blow through all your crits, you know the rest of the deck has no crits in it, so it's a more dangerous deck, and vice versa. If you, right, if right, you right. haven't seen any crits yet, and you've gotten, you've seen all the, the bomb cards, you know, you got big you know, stuff you know you've got some good stuff coming. So it still has that, but it's this tiny little text on the screen. Like That's a huge part of the game, is I attack you, and many times when I was playing the game, I attacked the person, and no damage was done to them, and I was like, I didn't even see what I drew. You like, never I, even, right, right, right. It, I need a big thing on the screen that says, you drew the plus two. It did, you know, or, you know. But, right, because deck tracking is a big part yeah, of the game. Yeah, I understand they're trying to, like, obfuscate the system behind and just, like, immerse you in it, but I'm like, that's the game, guys. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's, that, that is how it goes away from just pure randomness and becomes right. something where you can yeah. manage odds. And I had to search for that information. It wasn't sure. just right there for me. Now, can I buy Funko skins to put on the uh, on the characters <laughs> oh, with, the, geez, with no. the big face? Can I? Oh, geez. Just not yet. Not Because it's a miniature game. Yeah. Just to be clear. Uh, okay. So, yeah. I, I Look, I recommend you give it a shot. If, if you love Gloomhaven, this will scratch your Gloomhaven itch by yourself. And we all know Gloomhaven is a beast to, t- to, to get to the table and set up. It's 30 minutes of just prep before you're even doing anything in that game. So it's very nice to be able to just hit, you know, play on Steam. And there it is. PC only, not Mac, not iOS, PC only. In beta. That's racist. If you're interested, try it out.